welcome to this week's edition of HavenFootball.net's Play of the Game. This week's Play of the Game is brought to you by Active Image Media. We use Active Image's video for our Play of the Game features. They are the specialists in game filming, highlight reels, team highlights, and individual highlights as well. If you need video of your next sporting event or highlight reels, give them a call at 610-328-3456. That's 610-328-3456. Jaguars travel to George L. King Field to play for dominance in the Central League. As both teams came into tonight's contest at 5-1. The Panthers received the opening kickoff but went 4 and out. Garner Valley took the ball and marked 69 yards, scoring on this great pitch to number 20 Alex Warden for the score. Haven makes a nice run on the next series but comes up empty, while the Jags march again, including this pitch to number 4 Kyle Kaiser, which sets up the second Garner Valley score. They now lead 13-0. Haven looks to get back in the game, which brings us to tonight's first play of the game. Here's Brian Carroll with the call. Robinson split to the left this time. Second down and three. From the 34, Panthers give it to Brent Collins. He has running room, and look out, this is Griffin across midfield, 45-40. James Griffin down the far sideline, 15-10, and just like that, the Panthers are on the board. Talk about big play explosiveness, it's Griffin from 66 yards. That made it 13-6, but the Jaguars weren't done yet. They marched 70 yards for a score right before the end of the first half on this three-yard scamper by number one Thomas Obi Tobit taking an overwhelming 20-6 lead into halftime. Garner Valley gets the ball first and holds on to it for more than seven minutes, but the Panthers keep them out of the end zone. The Panthers come right back on their third play from scrimmage when Griffin again finds daylight and takes off 77 yards. He'll go all the way for the touchdown. The winds were wild all night, and Heisey makes his second attempt and misses. But Garner Valley runs into him after the kick, so Haven goes for the two and makes it, bringing the score 2014. The Jags fumble the ball on the third play of their next possession, giving the Panthers great field position. Five plays later, number 20 Brent Collins takes it in for the score, and Heisey nails the extra point, and the Panthers are finally ahead 21 20. Haven holds the Jaguars scoreless in the second half, but the Jags have one last chance for the score in our second play of the game with Brian Carroll. And one second left from the 40, Cork Reese back, has time, under pressure, Vendetta on the back side, got him! Brian Vendetta with a sack and that'll do it! The Panthers have done it, no flags on the field! And Garnet Valley has faced their first losing streak since 2005 and the Panthers move to 6-1 and one with a stunning third quarter comeback. Three minutes of the third quarter was the difference tonight. Next week, the Panthers travel over to meet the Upper Derby Royals. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Tune in again next week for another play of the game.